Hi guys, this is Abhimanyu from the Cracket and this is the third part of uh, Indian Wildlife Part 3 and these are the, um, I was explaining that um, threats to wildlife and this is snaring, this is the um, photo of that uh, elephant which was killed by keeping a b bomb in that pineapple which the mouth was bursted and this was a pregnant elephant. There are so many people and um, so many celebrities has uh, mourned for this and these are the tigers these are the turtles and uh, the turtles which are killed for their um, shells and um, their meat threats to wildlife and this is another photo which is a stock build uh, the painted stock which is um, covered in a plastic bag and this is a uh, Arctic turn or something but like it related to turn which has a plastic um, and this is a bird which a bottle nib got um, clipped into its beak and this is a deer a uh, spotted deer eating a plastic bag and this is a group of elephants elephants near the uh, garbage area and this is a bear stuck into a plastic um, a tub or a bucket why and uh, these are the uh, protection act um, which are taken by the indian government to stop this um, wildlife poaching and the throwing of plastic and keeping the environment super and the nature super the wildlife protection act 1972 is an act of an indian parliament enacted for protection of plant and animal species before 1972, India had only five designated national parks. Among other reforms, the Act established five schedules of protected plant and animal species. Hunting or harvesting these species was largely outlawed. The Act provides for the protection of wild animals, birds, and plants. There are six schedules and six amendments. Project Tiger. Project Tiger is a tiger conservation program launched in April 1973 by the government of India during the Prime Minister Indira Gandhi's trench. Kailasha Shankala was the first director of uh, Project Tiger. The director of Project Tiger, as the Bengal Tiger is the national animal of India, this project aims to stem the dividing population of the big cats and work to increase their numbers. The project aims at ensuring a viable population of Bengal tigers in their natural habitats, protecting them from the from extinction, and preserving areas of biological importance as a natural heritage forever. Represented as close as possible the diversity of ecosystem across the distribution of tiger in the country. The project's task force visualized these tiger reserves as a breeding nuclei with uh, surplus animal from which the surplus um, animal would migrate to adjacent forest. Funds and commitment were mastered to the to support the intensive program of uh, habitat protection and rehabilitation under the project. Government has set up a tiger protection force to com combat poachers and funded relocation of the villages to minimize the human tiger conflicts. Now um, what's the term? Human animal conflicts and um, uh, animal human conflicts are increasing. Project Elephant. Project Elephant is to protect elephants. It is known as, it's also known as Project Gaja. It is recently launched in 2015 to protect the elephants, uh, not in 15, it was launched in 2002, sorry. Uh, it is um, a main um, objective is to protect elephants and their habitat and corridor to address the uh, issue of man-animal conflict, welfare of captive elephants, which are the elephants kept in uh, temples of Kerala, Tamil Nadu and so many states. Strengthening of measures for the protection of wild elephants from the poachers and unnatural cause of death. Research on elephant management related issues. Public education and awareness programs. Eco development, veterinary care, elephant rehabilitation and rescue centers. Uh, recently in um, Kenya, there is um, uh, hundreds of elephants uh, died of some disease or something.
um, some uh, related to poaching or hunting and uh, relating to that uh, project elephant uh, as the welfare of captive elephants take come at the captive elephant rejuvenation camp and it is uh, conducted in tamil nadu estimated cost of this uh, 48 uh, day long uh, rejuvenation camp uh, camp will be 1.5 crores which will be borne by the st- uh, state government according to the officials the rejuvenation camp will conclude and um uh, sorry and this will start in 2021 31st january 2021 our uh, the there will be 28 elephants participating 21 from temples of tamil nadu and five from that um, um that temples in um temples and um, so many areas from near from kerala and uh, two were from that pondicherry pulcherry uh, uh sh- daily schedule is uh, wake up at 6 am and walking 8 am bathing 10 am breakfast 11 am play and eat 3 am 3 pm walking 5 pm bath 6 pm supper and uh, cities cities is a very important topic the convention on the international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora as the washington convention is a multilateral uh, treaty okay and it's a multilateral treaty to protect the endangered plant and animals it was drafted as a result of resolution adopted in 1963 at a meeting of members at the international union for conservation of nature uh, iucn which we saw in earlier that the, um, describing the um, uh, table that um, not a table ta- uh, line the timeline uh, which is the extent to vulnerable uh, near threatened and like that the convention was opened for signature in 1973 cities entered into force on 1st july 1975 its aim is to ensure the international trade in specimens of wildlife and wild animals and uh, plant does not th- threaten the survival of the species in wild and it accords varying degree of protection to more than 35000 species of animals and plants Ramsar site which is a name, very important topic for UPSC UPSC Ramsar site is a wetland designated to be the international important under the Ramsar convention the convention on wetlands also known as Ramsar convention is an intergovernmental environmental treaty established in 1971 it is older than the cities uh, by it is um, designated by the UNESCO which is the United Nation Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization which came into force in 1975 it provides for the natural and uh, national action and international cooperation regarding the conservation of wetlands and wise su- sustainable use of their resource ramsar identifies wetlands of international importance especially those providing waterfowl habitat waterfowl is a bird as of uh, 2016 there were 2231 ramsar sites in globe uh, protecting uh, uh protecting um 2149360005 hectares and uh, 169 national governments are currently participating these are the ramsar uh, ramsar site in india bulur lake ahokra wetland pong dam lake uh, kanjeli hariki sambar lake kolalado national park boj wetland upper ganga river nalsaro bird sanctuary and koliru lake vembanadu kol and um, sastam coat astamudi polycamer and um, bird sanctuary okay and the wildlife and its habitat cannot speak so we w- must and we will theodore roosevelt save wildlife and save planets thank you